when we put the Green Run campaign together, it was a 10 month campaign. And we knew that we were gonna to have to keep the momentum going. And we also knew that we were doing a lot of firsts. We were taking a first time developed vehicle and bringing it to Stennis, which had never seen that vehicle. A test stand, that is the first time that this test stand is being prepared for this kind of test. And then we brought in Green Run software that was being developed and run for the first time. With doing something for the first time, there's always a question coming up of, what about this? And have we thought about this? And there's days where I, I go home and, and I'm thinking about this all night. As a, a program chief engineer, my big philosophy is there is a solution for everything. What did you learn out of it? And how do you make it better? Safety is utmost important. If your daughter was the astronaut, would you put your daughter on the a vehicle? We're draining a liquid hydrogen tank that's 150 feet tall in eight minutes. So if you can imagine how much propellant we're pushing through the engines uh, at a given second. We're building the world's most powerful rocket. We're on the cutting edge of technology. Looking at core stage right now, it's a giant orangish looking tube. But inside that is miles and miles of wire harnesses, thousands of feet of tubing. There's tons of uh, thermal protection system foam everywhere. There's a lot of engineering hours. Watching such a massive vehicle go from horizontal to vertical, it makes you feel so small. To build something of this magnitude, you need very special people. Uh, I feel like I stand on the shoulders of giants. Having a pandemic that shut us down for 70 days or so, having six hurricanes come through and having to prepare for those and reconfigure afterwards, extremely proud of how this team has pulled together. Hot fire gives you that perspective of how the vehicle behaves during flight. We'll be able to adjust things here and there, adjust our procedures, apply some lessons learned, so that that day of launch is even more successful than, than we could ever imagine. So we're part of something that is a program that could last uh, several generations. And, and that's something to not only to be proud of because you work on it, but it's, it's something to be proud of for all Americans because it's part of the U.S. space program.